Hey, I'm Este. I am a mum of three and I'm going to show you what I keep in my newborn's nappy bag or diaper bag. I don't use a traditional big bespoke nappy bag anymore. I did when I had my first baby but over the years I've just super duper streamlined it and now I just carry a very small kid size backpack. But no ordinary backpack, I use a really really brilliant one which is a Swedish brand called Fjörraven Konkim something like that. <laughs> my husband is Swedish, I'm English, that's probably why I did a very bad accent then. <laughs> but these bags have just become super duper trendy over the last few years, but we've always had them in the family. They are really amazing. If you hear some noise, that is my toddler who is playing just over here, he's three. These backpacks are brilliant as nappy bags specifically because they're totally waterproof and wear really, really well. They will last you a whole childhood. We've had this one for about four years. It's a tiny bit kind of scuffed in places, but nothing that a good scrub wouldn't bring off, if I could be bothered to do that. <laughs> They're amazing because the zip opens the entire way down. So the whole lid basically opens up and shows you everything that you have. So you don't need to worry about being like rummaging around, trying to find stuff. It's super easy to find everything. The other thing that's special about these backpacks is they're kind of designed for the Swedish outdoors and kids going out and about foraging and out in the Swedish countryside. So at the very, very back of each of the backpacks, it will come with a little removable piece of foam. This is so that if you're out foraging for swamp and mushrooms in Sweden, you can just kind of sit on this and have something to eat. Um, but it's really handy when you're out and about with kids for the same reason they can sit on it as a little chair. As a nappy bag, I use this to kind of just support Evelina's head if I'm changing her nappy, so I don't have to carry any special portable changing mat with me. So let's show you what else is inside here. I always bring wipes with me. So the wipes I'm using this time round are the Huggies Newborn Wipes. These are quite brand new to the market. They didn't have these when I had my other kids, but they're amazing because they're totally perfume free. They're pretty much just water. Um, so you can use them from day one. They're good thickness. They are really, really soft. So yeah, if you're kind of getting those meconium peas up, but the boys use them for their hand wipes, face wipes, everything else in between. I always bring about three nappies with me when I'm out and about for the day. And the brand I'm using at the moment is a Swedish brand called Nati. These are really good eco nappies, but still really convenient because I'm not gonna ever go cloth diaper. <laughs> but I do like the fact that I'm doing a little bit towards the environment by using this type of disposable nappy. So they are 100% biodegradable. Everything is natural. They are allergen free, they are perfume free. So they're not gonna irritate any newborn sensitive skin or toddler sensitive skin. They go from newborn right up until size six. So the absorbent material is actually made from like Swedish wood pulp, which is like responsibly harvest over in Scandinavia. If you've been to Sweden or Norway, you'll know there are more trees than people. <laughs> so there's plenty to go around. So I carry with me three of these and then I carry a few, just take them out of the bag and carry them so it's really compact of the matching nappy sacks. So if there is a messy nappy, you can put them in there. You can put it in the normal nappy bins when you're out and about, but when those get taken away, these will fully biodegrade over time rather than sit there. I carry a nappy cream with me. The one I have is really worn out label, but it is baby bottom butter from Waitrose. This is such a good bottom butter because it's basically like a balm. It is so yummy smelling. It smells almost like cocoa butter. I use this on the baby's bottom, but the reason I take it out and about with me is because I also use it on the older kids so they get dry patches. I use it on Evelina's face. Um, it is a really good one. I use it on my own lips. It is just one of those all-round multi-purpose products. It lasts forever because you get quite a big tub, but it is really cheap. This was a top tip another mum told me about, and it is a really, really good one. To keep my bag compact, I don't have a massive wallet anymore. I just bought a really slim little queen type of purse and then here I've got my money and my bank cards but it doesn't take up much space. I can fit in here a spare outfit for Evelina so I always just carry a baby grow rather than like you know tight dress 
vests and everything. Just one baby grow and a pair of socks. So in emergencies, she's got something to change into. Those just roll up super duper tiny and fit in the bag at the bottom. So other stuff I'm carrying for Evelina is, I got this spray at Jojo Mama Bebe. This is by Vital Baby and it is a sanitizing water spray. So she does have a dummy and I use this to spray on her dummy if it needs a bit of on the go sterilizing. It is 100% natural sanitizing water but it is 100% safe on baby's hands, skin, their soothers, their teethers, their toys. Just really good to have out and about with you. Couldn't live without this, it's a total lifesaver. So that's everything I carry for Evelina on a typical day out, but there's tons of space left in the bag for some bits and pieces for the boys. So I carry snacks because I have two very hungry boys. So my toddler is three, he still really likes the Ella's Kitchen pouches. Um, I always carry some of these, if I pick him up from nursery and he wants a snack, he can just suck on these um, and there's something kind of healthy. Or if we're kind of going out and about for lunch, and he always wants to pick fish and chips or chicken and chips and I can sort of top up his veggies with some of these. He really likes them. Do you want one now, Finn? Yes. Say hi. <laughs> there you go. Carry on then. Carry on. Making a mess that I'm gonna have to clear up after. But yes, I've got a couple of those in here and I have um, oat bars, organic oat bars. These are sort of, again. <laughs> <laughs> these are again just good things to have in my bag and my older son really likes those to sell. I carry a couple of plasters, so just take them out of your big packet, a couple of Star Wars plasters if anyone falls over. Tissues because it's not. <laughs> I also carry hand sanitizer for the boys, so especially when Evelina was teeny tiny, we were sanitizing our hands all the time and Carex does these really nice little kids version so this is a bubble gum hand gel and we also had a strawberry laces mmm smells yummy oh that came squirting out so they can just rub it on their hands if we're out in the bat and if we're using public toilets and things like that because couple of superheroes because Finn can't go far without Batman <laughs> but if we're stopping when we're out and about um, to grab a coffee or to stop and feed Evelina it's good to have a couple of toys for Finn to keep him busy and I also carry like a pencil and a pen for Freddy because his main thing he'll do is just sit and draw. My top tip for feeding when you're out and about is to go into any shop and feed in their changing rooms um, and then I get these out for Finn he has a play my buggy's there and safe and there's a nice little private space, I can close the curtain and give her a feed. He's busy. I also carry always a portable phone charger. So this one is just a cheap one that I got on Amazon. It's 20 quid or something like that. And I charge it up before I go out. It just uses the normal plug cable from your charger. But because I'm often away from the boys, because one's at school and one's at nursery for three hours, my biggest fear is just being out, them trying to get hold of me and somehow my battery going. So I always carry this. I've also got a couple of small sachets of cowpaw in here and a little spoon. I am a bit of a health and safety worry freak. <laughs> so I do like to carry these with me just in case anything goes wrong. Um, it's just good to have in the bottom of a bag again if they fall over or they suddenly develop a fever and you're like two hours away from home. It's just handy to have something like that. So that's everything I have in the bag. There's tons of stuff in there. <laughs> it's a bit like a never full bag, but you can fit loads in there. I think even if I moved on to bottles, I would be able to fit a bottle and a little pouch of formula in there as well. Just cut down on some of the other stuff. It is a really handy bag. It's got two big side pockets. I slip my iPhone in one. And then in the little front pocket, I carry anything I need easy access to, which for me, because I live in London, I carry my Oyster cards to get around on public transport. And then yeah, I just shove any other things that the kids give me, like twigs, stones, random bits, kind of go in there and then we give it a clean out. That's everything I have in my Fuel Raven Konkin bag for the kids. I hope you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe for some Swedish English adventures. This summer we're spending the whole summer in Sweden and I'm going to be doing loads of Scandinavian adventures. I will see you all in my next video.